trying to win souls, but we hateful. Right. Okay, okay. Because right. we forgot about true ministry. We've gotten to the point where we let the, 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 the name and the glitz and the glamour uh, and, and, and those things that come with ministry override the real priority of what God has called us to do. So we got to get back to basics. Yes, yes, yes. Got to get back to basics. We got to get back to why we're here and, and so that we won't miss it because, listen, we all got to stand before God who's either going to tell us to enter in or depart. Yes. And don't get it twisted. Don't let your works fool you. All right. Can I just go there for a minute? Because some people think the works is going to get them in. Their gifts and their talents. I laid hands. I cast out demons. Isn't that what the story says? And Jesus said, I know you're not. Of iniquity. Yes. In other words, we have a form of godliness, yes. but we're really denying the power yes. thereof. Yes. So we can't get away from the true essence of what ministry is all about. Right. That was just a sidebar. Let's get into Amen. the verse. Amen. 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 Jeremiah 29, let's begin at verse 1. And it says, Now these are the words of the letter that Jeremiah the prophet sent from Jerusalem to the rest of the elders in exile and to the priests, the prophets, and all the people whom Nebuchadnezzar had carried away captive from Jerusalem to Babylon. This was after King Jeconiah, also called Coniah or Je Jehoiakim, and the queen mother, the eunuchs, the princes of Judah and Jerusalem, the craftsmen, and the smiths had departed from Jerusalem. So they just, they got everybody. And they uh, captured them, and they got them, and they sent them over to uh, Babylon. <coughs> Mama, little Pookie, Ray Ray, all of them, they did. <laughs> this letter was sent by the hand of Elias, the son of Shatna, uh, Jemariah, son of Hilkiah, whom Zedekiah, king of Judah, sent to Babylon to Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. And it says a lot of, a lot of hands that letter went through. It says, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, to all the captives whom I have caused to be carried into the exile, into exile from Jerusalem. Alright, let's stop right there. Let me explain. Here's what's going on. Uh, Israel is captured by Nebuchadnezzar, they are now sent to Babylon, they're slaves, okay? And so Jeremiah was not a part of that, uh, that, that capturing at that time, so what he did was he sent a letter to Jerusalem to those who were captured, uh, which was Israel, he, uh, Jeremiah sent the letter to them uh, to let them know what God was saying. Amen? Amen? So this letter went through a lot of hands. Thank God it got to the right person. Amen? Amen? Amen. Uh, because a lot of times when we're doing kingdom, the enemy's job is always, tr uh, always trying to distract us and keep us from getting what we need. Amen. Uh -huh. All right. So that we won't hear from God, but thank God this letter got to those people wow. who were captive. Mm -hmm. It says in verse 4, Thus said the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, to all the captives, watch this, whom I have caused to be carried into exile from Jerusalem. All right, I need y'all to understand, God caused this. Yes, he did. Look at somebody tell them, God did this. God did this. In other words, God caused his people, Israel, wow. to be captured mm -hmm. and now to be slaves. Yes. God did this thing. Yes. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> he didn't make a mistake. Jeremiah didn't make a mistake. He was hearing from God, and God told him, tell the people, I've caused this to happen. 